Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we're going to solve a couple of Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure problems. So let's begin by reading this one. The container holds three gases, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and helium. The partial pressures are as listed here. What is the total pressure? As always, I'm going to start by identifying the variables. So partial pressure of oxygen is 2.00 atm. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 3. And the partial pressure of helium is 4. So now our equation is P total is equal to the sum of the partial pressures for this problem. That would be the pressure of the oxygen plus the pressure of the carbon dioxide plus the pressure of the helium, plugging in the numbers, we have 2 atm plus 3 plus 4. So our P total is going to be 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9. We have to put the 0, 0 because we need 3 sig figs, and our unit is ATS. So that would be how we would solve the first type of problem, which is just a straight up um, sum of the partial pressures. Now what I was going to do is I'm going to scroll down to another problem that I have conveniently set up. Can I scroll down a little more? See, sorry. <laughs> okay. So now for this one, we have a 450 milliliter sample of hydrogen collected over water. So the key phrase here is over water at 25 degrees C. So this number right here, 645 Tor, is the total of the pressure of our hydrogen plus our pressure of our water because it was collected over water. So we're being asked, what is the pressure of the dry gas alone? So to get the dry gas alone, I would have to subtract. So here, P total is equal to 645 Tor. And our P for hydrogen is a question mark. And our partial pressure for our water is given right here. So we know that the partial pressure of water at that temperature is 23.8 Tor. So P total, sorry, P total is equal to pressure of hydrogen plus the pressure of water. So in order to get our hydrogen alone, the pressure for hydrogen is going to be equal to the total minus the partial pressure of water. So a pressure for hydrogen is going to be 645 Tor minus 23.8 Tor. So when I plug that into my calculator, I get uh, 621.2. And since I have three sig figs, I'm going to have to round that to 621. Four. So there you have it. We have solved two Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure problems. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.